Hey everyone, if you don't already know me, my name is Ethan and I'm a first year medical student here at UCLA. I've been making these YouTube videos as a way just to inspire others and to document my life as a medical student and to have something to send back to my family back home in New Jersey. So here is a video kind of capturing my life as a medical student here in LA and I really, really hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm at my friend Jason's apartment. I'm gonna attempt to give myself a haircut. Hopefully it turns out good. We'll see. Minor injury. Just cut my ear a little bit. Okay, today is Monday. I just made it to the med school. This is, will be our second week learning about the musculoskeletal system. Last week was our first week and it was a lot. It's a lot of memorization, a lot of drugs to study, a lot of anatomy. So a little nervous for this week, but fingers crossed, hopefully it goes well. FOP team gets coffee. How are you guys all doing? It's coffee. Great. Coffee. Coffee. Pretty good, you know. We're it's learning Monday. about some diseases and we're trying I'm to back lower pain. back pain. <laughs> lower back pain. So that's what we're reviewing right now. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice. Had an incredible session at the VA. We were learning basically different PM and R techniques for like assessing the elbow and the shoulder and things like that. Just biked back to campus, took a shower, and I'm gonna bike over to the med school for a large group session. Okay, this is Lorenzo. What do we make tonight, Lorenzo? We've got some vegan chili. Some vegan chili yeah, and? Come take a look at some vegan cornbread. Nice. Yeah. So Lorenzo left me with a lot of chili. My number one goal right now is to not crash the bike, to not drop the chili. Hey, this is Jonah. You look very nervous. Don't be nervous. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> How was anatomy today? Anatomy was good. It was kind of challenging because all the muscles in the arms are like on top of each other. But yeah, I think it'll be really nice learning how to identify them without any help. Cool. This coffee is burning my hand. I need to like... had a really really good home visit with the UCLA extensivist team now I'm um, trying to get the bus back home
I just made it back to the med school. Had a really good home visit, but really sleepy. <laughs> Okay, good morning. It is 5 a.m. I just woke up and barely, barely opened my eyes. But today I'll be shadowing in the emergency department and a little bit nervous for this, but hopefully it goes well. I don't know like how much she's gonna have me do, whether I'll be like taking histories of patients. Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's a little nervous, but I think it's gonna be fun and a really great experience. So I'm just gonna bike over to the campus rec center right now, take a shower, bike back to the med school, grab my white coat and my stethoscope, and then head over to the hospital. Okay, so I just got back to the medical school. I was in like the ER from like 6 a.m. to like 9.30 a.m. It was a really cool experience. Yeah, I had a lot of like assumptions going in and a lot of those were just like not true. <laughs> so it was really interesting just to see like just to get that first like first-hand experience and get a better idea of emergency medicine. There's some really interesting cases and I'm gonna have to do a lot more research just to learn more about them. But yeah, super cool, super cool experience. What do you have? I have um, some rice with chicken, um, and I also have salmon. It's a lot of protein in my bowl right now. <laughs> nice. Okay, so one of my goals with this channel is to just be like super transparent with my medical school experience because I know there's a lot of people who like make YouTube videos and and want to just like just show the highlights and kind of cast themselves in one certain way but my goal is just to be as authentic as like humanly possible and show a couple of things show that you can have balance in medical school that you can have a lot of fun but also show like the true side of it and show that it is really tough it is really challenging emotionally and physically so these past two days have been like really especially tough because yesterday I had like my EACE site which is like an early authentic clinical experience and that just like took up the whole day it was from like three to seven and I had like no I I literally haven't watched like a single like class lecture just because I've just been so busy just like running around all of LA and then today I really wanted to get inside the emergency department and really get a feel for what emergency medicine looks like so I reached out to one of the faculty and I shadowed from like 6 a.m. to like 10 10 a.m. so I had to wake up at 5 for that and it's just intense in the emergency department I was in like the the trauma room when there was a trauma case happening a lot of the patients I've noticed are like on house patients a lot of patients have um, just a, a lot going on especially psychiatric illness that's really interesting to see how like the team worked with them it's a really chaotic <laughs> chaotic sort of environment a lot of de-escalation happens where people are having kind of like psychotic episodes so there's a call over the loudspeakers like for like all staff to come together to really try to de-escalate the situation so yeah that was a lot <laughs> and then after when i was finally done getting ready to just like do some last minute studying before some like sessions today i was trying to get a coffee and this was in a, in a completely separate building and i noticed that someone was on the ground and they were seizing i wasn't really sure what was happening but i saw someone on the ground i was like the only one there they were it looked like they were seizing so i ran over i uh, tried to like really just see what was going on i like tried to get someone else's help so luckily i found my friend and called 911 stayed with the person when they stopped seizing and yeah, to kind of just tried to do everything that I could to, to help the situation. But things like that are just like super, super intense and scary. And when you're wearing scrubs, when you're like a medical student, you feel like a big responsibility to definitely step in in those sorts of situations. So it's just a lot. Just trying to take it all in, reflect, trying to grow into a better individual. There's a lot of learning I have to do. I'm looking forward to just like becoming a really, really, really kind future physician. That's all for today. <laughs> on a friday night <laughs> finally leaving the med school that's the end of this video if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up consider subscribing and leaving a nice little comment down below i'd really appreciate it and with that i hope you have a beautiful beautiful day